We are to the northeast of the town of Waluna now and on Carnegie Station. We are out Mount Moore at the moment. Our plan is to visit three of Explorer John Forrest's marked trees and a rarely visited art site. Welcome to the video. Here we are at Mount Moore. So, John Forrest came here on his expedition in 1874. Here, before he made his way to the, uh, to the east. He came all the way from Champion Bay, or Geraldton, and uh, this was his Camp 50. He just camped down, down here on the flat here, and that was his 50th camp since Geraldton. You can see a plaque here. That was put there uh, by the 1974 John Forrest Retracing Expedition. So we're back on the flat now where John Forrest had his camp. So at the camp he marked a tree F50 signifying that, you know, it was his 50th camp since Geraldton. And uh, here's the tree here. So obviously it's fallen down, but uh, you can see here, there's a, a little plaque here where it's saying, uh, this tree F50 blaze by John Forrest, 25th of June, 1874, R Sharp, 1987. That's Robin Sharp. Now, when he found this tree, Robin, uh, I only know about this because I saw it in the newspaper uh, quite some time ago. Uh, it was upright and standing, so sometime between 1987 and now, it's fallen down, which is a bit of a shame. Now, the actual blaze, the F50, is, I would consider it under, under the, the tree there, uh, lying on the ground. So that's a bit of a shame. It's fallen down on the blaze. But um, look, technically, this is a historical site, so... I don't think I should be interfering with the tree, trying to get uh, the blaze visible again. So I'll just leave that as it is. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty good find because I, did, um, I didn't have any coordinates. I worked out how to, to find it just using John Forrest's uh, directions. But uh, yeah, there's a tree there. We put the plaque a bit higher on the tree so people could see it. We're just travelling cross country now to a bluff to the south. Now apparently just over the bluff are some rocky pinnacles and also there's supposed to be some Aboriginal art in a cave so we're just going to go and have a look and see if we can find anything. At the moment, I don't know whether we're going to get there. It's pretty rough and rocky and... It's punchy country too. So I've got to be careful where I'm driving. Yeah, so at the south end of the, the Mesa now that we're just heading to, 
And yeah, sure enough, uh, this is where the, the Aboriginal art is. So uh, I'll just show you. So yeah, down here, we've got uh, a bit of a snake here and uh, some other drawings here. Quite nice, there's quite a lot of them too. All along here. And uh, in here. They're all very interesting. Not sure what it all means. There's a stick figure there. It's a bit, uh, well, you can draw your own conclusions with that one. So unfortunately we didn't find the um, tree last night. What we were going on is along this track, which is the track that goes east from Spinifex Well, Spinifex Waterhole, uh, there's a clay pan. When you get to the clay pan, the tree's right ne in the clay pan, right next to the track. And uh, no worries, you should be able to find the tree easily. So that's what we're looking for yesterday. But uh, yeah, we didn't find it. So we rang up Carnegie Station last night on the sat phone and they said that the tree is five to eight kilometres east of Spinifex Waterhole, 200 metres north of the track, and there's a rangeland in, in the background to the north. So we've got a bit of extra directions to, to find the tree. So yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll find it this morning with a bit of luck. So we've found the tree that we think is the tree that John Forrest blazed as F51. So his camp, which is just over in the hills here, we believe, uh, was the 51st camp from Geraldton on his expedition. So you can see here it's been blazed out. There's a few pieces that have fallen out here. Uh, you can see they've been nicely cut there, there, there. So this is a nice clean cut here. So this piece of wood could have actually been cut by John Forrest himself, which is pretty amazing when you think, you know, it's almost 150 years ago now. There's another piece just here as well, you know. So yeah, it's pretty cool. You can't quite make out the original blaze here anymore. It's just too old. Now, on the side here, uh, someone in the more recent times has blazed an F51 on the side of the tree here. Uh, so, but this isn't the original blaze because it, it doesn't look, look that old even though it does look maybe 30 or 40 years old, uh, it's, it's not the original blaze. So yeah, it's pretty cool, eh? Phil led the way into F52. The tree lies within Curran and Aranda Brook, which is not far from Carnegie Homestead. So here's a tree here, it's got a plaque on it. So this is forest tree F52. So here I'll read the plaque out. This tree was blazed by John Forrest, northwest side 28th of the 6th, 1874, and LA Wells, that's Lawrence Wells, 12th of the 8th, 1896, southwest side, Robin Sharp, 1987. So if you just uh, have a look at this side, that's the uh, John Forrest blaze there, or what's left of it. So there's not, not a lot left of it really, to be honest. And even less so is the blaze by Lawrence Wells, 
uh, in here. So you can see it's almost completely grown over now. Uh, all the, all the cork, cork is um, grown over from the corkwood tree. And uh, yeah, it's only just, just a bit left in there that you can see. So yeah, that's pretty good. So now we'll, we'll leave now and uh, we'll go down to Carnegie Station. So pretty happy with that result over the last few days, uh, picking up the three forest blaze trees plus the Aboriginal art. Uh, that was quite quite good. Although I've been to F51 tree before, I hadn't been to the other two forest trees. In particular, happy with finding F50 because uh, we found out without anyone else's help. So quite pleased about that. So now we're heading into Carnegie Homestead where we'll fill up with fuel, I'll probably have some lunch and maybe even a shower. So thanks for watching the video, appreciate it and we'll see you in the next one.